Okay, so we're back in the truck now. And as you can see, the power is off on a monitor. I'm gonna go down here and um, here is here is my um, my power cord from the camera, and it's uh, oops, some of my stuff. It's in my accessory assembly now. Let's just put it on the dash. Plug it in a cigarette lighter, so you can see how most people would be using it. There we have it. Now I'm going to push that button. And that indicates that it's on and boom our camera came right on here I'll turn that off again see how quickly that comes up now I have the lights turned on in my truck I'm going to show you right there okay now if I turn the lights off now it's gonna yeah see there it turned the camera off um, once again, that's to save on the life of the camera. There's no sense of having it running all the time. But when you're moving, backing up or on the road, you want your headlights on regardless. And boom, automatically on comes your camera. I really like that feature a lot. A lot of them do not have that. Um, once again, now for myself, I love to have a camera on when I'm driving. So I can see if there's a car approaching quickly behind me so I can move or else uh, hit my brake lights let them know to slow down but right now I have we're in a stationary mode the way I have the camera set right now as you can see I've got a uh, lawn chair back there and that lawn chair is about seven feet behind my the bumper of my uh, camper um, so you can see if I was backing up right now uh, I've got a really good clearance. I can see all the way to the woods line of my property, which is, oh, that's going to be about a good 50, 60 feet from my camper. So, as you can see, this has really got an excellent range on it, and it also has a good wide range to it, too. The controls on here are quite simple. Uh, you also have an on and off switch right there for the monitor. Uh, these are your two control switches here. Um, if you want to use your menu on this, it'll show brightness, contrast, saturation, which is the color, and uh, your guidelines. And you can change all those by hitting the key button first and then controlling it with your up and down controls here. <clears throat> I haven't even touched it. It's still on the factory mode. If I want to change the angle on the camera, watch this. This one right here that shows the angle, the third button <coughs> to the right, or fourth actually. We hit that. Okay, we're looking at an upside down picture. <laughs> Not sure why you want that. Here, I can zoom in, and here I can take and swap from one angle to the other, from right to left. This is really cool. So, um, there you have it. I mean, we've got excellent clarity on this uh, on these, uh, this camera here. Um, like I said, it didn't take any expert to, uh, to install it. And uh, I think you'll like it a lot.